Hey guys, this is Frank again from Wellier Design and I uh, just wanted to show you another Vags. Uh, hopefully I can keep this video quick until the point. Sometimes the videos get a little too long. Today is December 10th, uh, 2022. And uh, I just kind of want to make a quick video because I keep getting a lot of messages saying that they want more content and you guys want more videos and more cars. But I apologize, sometimes it's just hard to find the time to do this. And, uh, and for those who don't know, my videos are always intended to, as, to show information about how these vexes are and how they're built and some other things about them, just in case somebody's interested or maybe considering building one one day. And uh, so I'm not here trying to make a video to impress anybody. Obviously the settings, not the greatest, but anyways. So this particular car, it's, this Vex is built on a Porsche Boxster 986. Actually, it was a real nice donor car. It only had, has 38,000 original miles. Um, and uh, this particular car is gonna be getting picked up tomorrow, going to Indiana, Mr. Lewis, the owner. And, um, and, uh, I just, actually, one of the things that I first off that I want to explain to a lot of people that there's a little bit of confusion sometimes. Uh, every VEX that I built is been ordered. So I don't build these cars and then finish them the way I want to or and then they go out for sale. No, it doesn't work that way. A lot of people sometimes ask me, um, hey, do you have anyone ready or, you know, uh, no. These cars, the only way the cars get built is by order so the owners has to order the car um, they also have to supply the donor car meaning you have to buy your Porsche Boxster and, and you send it to us and then we'll build it to your specification meaning like in this particular case the color of the car the color of the wheels the accent line the line the interior everything is done by order we don't pre-build cars and then they go up for sales we're not licensed as a car dealer we're a custom car shop so you have to send me your card to be customized. All right, so I just wanted to kind of clarify that. Some, sometimes I get calls and messages, people saying, hey, how many cars do you have ready for sale? And I don't build cars to sell. They're only built by order. And the way I finish them is exactly how the owner requested them to be. I don't pick the colors and all that stuff. Anyways, this car in particular is, we did it on a, uh, by the request of the owner, spent it on a uh, Honda Blue Pearl and uh, a nice color I feel and um, and then the black arrow we normally most commonly do black which is all these areas at the bottom right here um, in this particular case it's done in a pearl charcoal uh, requested by the owner um, you can kind of tell you can't tell on the video <clears throat> it looks black but it's in fact like a charcoal pearl and um, I think it looks real nice it still does the same effect of the black but he chose this charcoal he actually sent me the paint chips um, and the color codes and everything how he wanted and the wheels have a chrome lip and it has a chromium finish face meaning the face is not chrome it may look like it on the video but it's actually it's called chromium it's like a powder coat and um, so it gives it a like a satin chrome looking and, and then the lips are actually chrome and then in this case, we did a silver accent line um, that kind of matches the color of the wheels. So this car, like I said, is getting picked up tomorrow and it's going to um, Indiana. I see some of the things that I'm... One of the things that I get asked a lot is about financing on this course. And um, fortunately, there is no financing as the banks um, will not finance your car that doesn't exist. Meaning, if you send me a Porsche Boxster and you want me to turn it into a VAX, but you want to finance it, the only way a bank will finance is when the car is completed, it's actually finished. And that's the only way the bank will recognize that this is not a, let's say, $10,000 Porsche Boxster anymore. Now it's a $60,000, $70,000 custom car. And the bank, special banks, banks they actually work with classic cars, muscle cars, uh, kick cars, and all kinds of that kind of stuff. Um, there are some banks that specialize in financing those type of um, cars. 
And so once the car has been finished, then the car can actually be financed, okay? We cannot offer finance. If I was offering finance, I mean, I don't know how would I, how would I be able to finance 10, 15, 20 cars, it would be impossible for me to do. So that's the only way, and that's one of the questions that I get a lot, if the car can get financed. Well, fortunately, you have to borrow the money uh, from some place, somebody, have the car built, and when the car is finished, then you can actually apply for a loan, get your loan, and obviously the bank will keep the title until, well, until you pay it off, and put the bank loan, you can pay off whoever you borrow the money to build it. I have had a couple customers done it that way. You know, you're taking big chances if you do it that way, because you don't know if you're gonna be able to get financed or stuff like that, but hey, I just wanted to get, you know, like I said, I just want to answer questions that I usually get. Um, there are the most common ones. Um, anyways, let me guys, like I said, I don't want to make this video too long. I always tend to make 20 minute videos and I'm going to try to keep it short. So I'm going to show you a little bit of the inside of this particular car. And the inside of this car was originally uh, black and gray. And then this particular case, we did the same things like the carbon fiber, um, yeah, I do stuff and then we reupholster the seats and then also in the suede and Alcantara we reupholster the seat. We kind of changed a little bit the design on the headrest just to give it a different flair than its original uh, look from the original Porsche seat. So we don't change the seat, we don't modify the seat, we just reupholster it but we do change the pattern of the upholstery to kind of try to give you, I don't know, it's hard to catch it but just to kind of give it a different look, different flair. I'll put the back slow, and then we have the leather on the side to match the actual dash, which is original. And then we did the suede in the center, right? We also did the carpet things. These are uh, add-ons, these are not actual, it's not the actual carpet of the car. So these things are not custom built and installed and, and replacement of the carpet. So these things are add-ons, you can find them online. and. Uh, even like I always said, it, it gives it, it gives it a real nice look, and at the same time, it, it's easily replaceable. It's just laying in there, pretty much. It's got a few clips to hold it in place, and um, it's real nice. I, I really, I really like that kind of stuff. Where it's cheap, easy, and uh, and it, it, it looks the part. Uh, the other thing we did, we put a touch screen, as we usually do. Um, in some Vexes, you're gonna see that the touch screen is mounted down here. And in some cases, it's gonna be mounted up here. Some of the Porsches come with the AC controller actually right below the vents. And in some Porsches, even though it could be the same year or whatever, I don't know the reason why, Porsche will put it down here. So depending on where the AC controller is, depends the type of unit we use and if we mount it down here or mount it on top, okay? So that's that. And then also this customer added the Carbon fire steel wheels, hard to tell, but it's I always recommend that it's real nice, very, very nice uh, steering wheel. One of the reasons why I recommend that is because the interior of the Porsche is one of the things that we don't mess with too much. So the only thing we try to do is try to enhance it. So practically one of the first things you're gonna see when you open the door is your steering wheel. That's the first thing you're gonna see. So by being a real nice carbon fiber steering wheel, and like I said, in the video, it doesn't do it justice, but in person, it's, it's a real beautiful steering wheel. So when you open the door and you see the, kind of like the leather looking things on the floor and the, and the suede on the seats, and you see that nice steering wheel and also the touch screen and, and some of this carbon fiber. The reason why I like this a lot is because the original, the original, the way it was originally, it was mainly like this, like flat black plastic. So it, it gives a really plastically look on the center console and all that, it looks all plastic. But just the fact, even without it looking at carbon fiber, just the fact that it's actually nice and glossy, I don't know if you guys can tell, but just the fact that it's been all coated and clear coated and all that, it really gives it a nice look. And um, so those are the only things I haven't done to, this, to the interior. And um, I mean, I really like this car. I like the color combination. I think it turned out to be a, a really nice. I wasn't too sure about this blue in particular. Uh, one of the things I liked a lot about the owner of this particular car is he knew what he wanted from day one. And this is one of the things that sometimes 
delays the car a lot. So when the person that orders a car, he keeps changing his mind, cannot make up his mind. Um, because after he orders the cars and he says the way he wants it, they'll start looking at other cars and constantly changing, changing their minds. And that can create a big chaos. It can delay the project a lot. And even sometimes uh, it can cost even more money because we had already done stuff and then you want to change it. So anyways, but I think it's a really, it's a really nice combo in this particular car. And uh, this one's, um, let me start it up. The, the exhaust, which is one of the things that a lot of people ask me about as well. The exhaust, usually we have three ways to do it. One is um, quiet, the other one is medium, and the other one is super loud. And in this case, we did this one uh, medium, which gives it a pretty nice sound. It really goes with the car. Let me get the car started. So like I always say, the keys are on the left for those who don't know. But the owner really wanted it and uh, it works very well. Um, I'm sure you guys cannot really make out the noise on the, on the video on the phone. But really, um, I like the way they sound, especially when they're under load when you're driving them. The um, they sound of these engines because they're boxer engines. Um, it's a little bit. It produces a little bit of a different sound than what we're most commonly used to hearing, especially from a V6 from a six um, and uh, this this Porsche you can really get a pretty good high pitch sound um, out of them. And there's plenty of videos on YouTube of guys showing you how they can make them sound. And uh, and I really like. It. I think it goes very well with them. Anyways, don't want to make this video too long. I've already showed you guys before the trunks and all the other stuff how to take the top off and all that good stuff so it's real, real cool 38,598 miles so I should have plenty of life left on this car and um, yeah super cool ride and even the owner super cool guy um, it's funny how um, what a difference it makes for a for and I'm sure I'm sure for most builders it's the same way, but the difference it makes for us builders when we work in with the owner of the car or the, the customer, there is a real nice person like this, this, the owner of this car, Mr. Lewis, awesome person, awesome person to deal with, awesome person to work for. And, um, and it's almost like it makes you really enjoy work, okay? And this cars are cool and they're nice toys and I love building these cars and everything else something I love to do but you know it doesn't stop from being work work is work and um, what a difference when you work for somebody that you actually like and enjoy working for them you actually enjoy building the actual car instead of just be another day at work anyways I don't want to get carried away like I said I always make these videos too long um, I hope you guys like it and uh, hopefully we'll make you another video soon I believe the next car coming is gonna be the actual 2.0 which it's been referred as the vex 2.0 but in fact it's going to be the vex x wow that's a premiere right there <laughs> it's actually uh it's going to be called the vex x and this is, will be the vex okay oh yeah in this particular case we don't have the spoiler as the owner uh didn't request it he didn't want the spoiler at all um, and i think it's nice it makes it look real clean and more timeless i believe because when you do things that are real trendy on these cars trendy is cool and what's in style today is cool but what happens is in a few years when that style goes out then that's what makes your car look older 
So in this case, keeping it very simple and clean and serious, I think it's real cool in the sense of um, in the future, the car won't look too out of style. You know what I mean? So personal opinion, I know there's a lot of people that will agree and disagree. Anyway, guys, like I said, don't want to make a long story out of this. Hope you enjoyed it and um, I'll be posting a new one soon. Have a good one, guys.